What is the cap rate formula? Hi there, I'm Nawar Naji, a real estate broker in the city of Toronto. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, make sure you click on subscribe and that bell button to get notified of my weekly videos. Cap rate or capitalization rate is one indicator that real estate investors use when analyzing the potential of investment property. Stay tuned till the end because I'll give you four reasons of why I do not use cap rate when looking at the potential of investment property. Let's get into some math today. Here are the four steps in calculating the cap rate. Step one, take the monthly rental income, multiply it by 12 to get your annual gross rental income. Second, add up all the operating expenses such as property taxes, insurance, maintenance times 12 to get your total annual ex operating expenses for that specific rental property. Do not include the mortgage because the financing is really dependent on how much down payment uh, the real estate investor is willing to put down. So take that out the equation. The third step is subtract the net operating expenses from the total annual gross rental income. And that will give you your net operating income. I know it's a lot of numbers, but stay with me. The fourth step is you take the net operating income and then you divide it by the purchase price or the listing price. And that will give you the cap rate for that specific property. But there are four reasons why I do not use cap rate when looking at potential investment properties, especially in the residential space. Here's reason number one. Cap rate is predominantly used on commercial properties and not residential investment properties. Two. Cap rate does not tell you the full story. For example, you can buy a property with a high cap rate, 8 to 9 to 10%, but that property could require a lot, of, a lot of repairs, a lot of work because it's been neglected over the years. So it doesn't tell you the full story. Three, you can buy a property with a high cap rate in a town or a city that does not have strong capital appreciation. So although the cap rate might look high, that specific city or town does not have a potential or strong potential to appreciate over time. Four, I like to look at the potential of a property. So I'll give you an example. If you look at a single family home, the cap rate on that specific property will be very low because there's only one rental income coming in. But if that specific property has the potential to be duplex or triplex where you can add a second and a third unit, now you can, you can triple that potential rental income. So instead of having one unit that's rented, um, you'll have up to three units that are, that are rented and that can significantly increase your gross rental income and that will improve your cap rate. So again, the cap rate doesn't tell you the full potential of a specific property. It's only one indicator. If you're looking to invest in real estate, please feel free to connect. I hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, happy investing.